My name is Dr. Carol Munu. I am the Director uh, of Preventive and Promotive Health Services for Nairobi City County. Over the last couple of years, we have indeed had uh, outbreaks of measles. And uh, one of the reasons why we are having these outbreaks is because of the reduction in immunization coverage. Uh, those who missed uh, their immunization doses, particularly during when we had the COVID pandemic, there are a number of children who did not access the facilities because of fear of coming to the health facilities and getting unwell. And so we find that there's quite a number of children who miss the measles uh, vaccines. Also, there's some hesitation in the community, particularly to get the second uh, dose of MR. So we find that in our population, um, we've had uh, outbreaks because not we have a low immunization coverage, particularly for MR2. And even as recently as last month, we had about five cases that were reported uh, in Dagoreti North in Nairobi County. Uh, for the typhoid disease, yes, we are having um, typhoid illness. Our surveillance systems are not uh, very um, developed to be able to capture typhoid as a disease, but we are having a lot of diarrheal cases, and we know that some of those cases are due to t uh, the typhoid. Um, a lot of times we are not able to do the proper diagnostics, particularly in the primary health care facilities. So we may miss out this in our reporting systems. But we have a um, Kibera site where we do active uh, surveillance. And in this place, we have actually noted we have an increase in typhoid cases, particularly in children under 15. And looking at the antimicrobial resistance patterns, we are seeing increasing resistance of typhoid um, in Nairobi to some of the popular antibiotics. And this is really concerning for us um, because the mortality rate could increase as a result of having antibiotics that are facing resistance. We are quite happy as a county uh, that uh, the national campaign will be conducted in all counties, including Nairobi. Uh, because um, we have been having these outbreaks, particularly of the measles, and we have communicated the need to have a scale-up. We have been able to do it in a small way in Nairobi County, but we are happy now that we'll be covering all the sub-counties, and we are really um, prepared because we have sensitized our healthcare workers uh, through online platforms, through CMEs, and on-job trainings. And uh, we really are waiting eagerly to be able to vaccinate our children so that we can reduce uh, the outbreaks that we are seeing and we can improve the immunity. We are particularly happy about the typhoid conjugate vaccine that is coming in. Um, and we are hoping to cover all the children that are targeted uh, through this campaign so that we can reduce uh, the incidence uh, of the typhoid um, disease. So we are prepared. We have uh, the support of our senior leadership and we are in the process of also sensitizing our community health promoters so that they can also educate the public on the importance of this vaccination. Uh, starting next week, we are going to be working with our sub-county medical officers of health as well as the teams that work with the community to be able to give them the knowledge on how the campaign will be conducted and the rationale behind it. And we are going to also scale this uh, to all healthcare workers that will be participating in the campaign. We are intending uh, at least to have over 1,000 healthcare workers dedicated to the efforts of ensuring this campaign gets to every individual uh, in Nairobi County. We are also um, in the process of finalizing uh, the messaging packages by our health promotion and community health teams to be able to sensitize the community health promoters and give them packages of messages that are easily understood by our parents and caregivers of the children. So we hope in the next two weeks to have done this uh, sensitization. We have also made arrangements with support from the national government to be able to make sure that we have all the necessary logistics in terms of cold chain, in terms of uh, syringes, in terms of the vaccines, so that once we start off the campaign on the 4th of July, we are ready and we are able to conduct it for 10 days and we'll be able to hopefully reach our target population of 100% of all the children uh, that we have mapped within the city of Nairobi. Thank you.